In this video, we're going to go over individual versus institutional discrimination. Discrimination is unjustifiable actions against a group of people. When you refer to individual discrimination, it is discrimination by an individual. And when it's an individual person, then these actions are conscious and obvious. So as an example, you have a bar owner that refuses to serve members of a particular race. Or you can have a police officer pulling over people of one race more than other races. With individual discrimination, you can resolve the issue by removing the individual. So you could remove the bar owner or the police officer, and that would end the discrimination. Next, we have institutional discrimination. This is unjustifiable actions against an individual or group by society and its institutions. So as an example, we can consider the Supreme Court decision upholding racial segregation in 1896. In this case, since it's a Supreme Court decision, it is not done by an individual, and it also affects the entire country. Another example would be the requirement of literacy tests to vote. The second example is an example of indirect discrimination. At first, it's not obvious that requiring literacy tests may be discriminating against any particular race. However, in the states where they applied this requirement, it turned out that the literacy rate was different among different races. So it favored the races with a high literacy rate and was unfavorable for the races with a low literacy rate. As an example against age, we can consider a mandatory retirement age for workers. So this would be a requirement that forced people to retire once they reached a certain age. Okay, so that's individual versus institutional discrimination.